Project Invisibility actually began in 1931. The technical director of the project at a later date was Nikola Tesla. The Tesla was working at that time in the University of Chicago with Dr. John Hutchinson, who was a dean of the university's School of Engineering, and a staff physicist by the name of Dr. Emil Kurtenauer. These people, including Tesla, got together for a theoretical discussion of, can you make an object invisible, and if so, how do you do it? The history of Nikola Tesla is very interesting. He decided to go back into, shall we say, the free energy business, and in 1931, he took a PSR automobile, ripped out the standard engine, put in a 75 horsepower electric motor, and they had a little black box, his free energy device, if you will, derived from the work he had done in the period around the turn of the century, and which Mr. J.P. Morgan wanted no part, built this black box, converted the car to an electric motor, and had this uh, place in the car in the dashboard from Kabosu saw it. We put this black box and plugged it in and then turned it on, and it provided the power for the 75 horse electric motor and drove the PSR all over New York City and eventually all over New York State without any gasoline, without any visible source of power except what he picked up. This part was documented much later by some Japanese in a video which was done many, many years later, and they said Tesla did it better than any of us, and nobody knows how he did it. That apparently was a secret that died with him. He also developed a particle beam weapon system, which he attempted to sell to the U.S. government. At first, he were interested, then turned it down. This is a 1935-36 period while he was working on Project Invisibility. They turned it down, the Canadians turned it down, the British government turned it down, but believe it or not, the Russian government bought it and snapped it up for $25,000 cash. Can you imagine, in view of what uh, the financial structure is today, him selling a working model on a year's consultancy for a particle beam weapon system to the Russians or anybody for $25,000 cash? He was very hard up for money at that time. And eventually his own government gave him a stipend, which kept him alive, so to speak, during that period of time after his paycheck was no longer available from RCA.